Hello everyone. In this video I'm going to show you how to quickly set up a LEMP stack using my Vagrant ENV Basher project. So to get started let's go ahead and just download the Vagrant file from this project. I've gone ahead and created a demo directory here so right now all we have is the Vagrant file in it. Um, now let's go ahead and open up Atom and edit this file. Uh, key thing to point out here um, as you can see here, we have our host port. This is where on localhost the project is going to be accessible, so we'll need to remember that for later. As we scroll down here though, um, we've got a few different provisioning scripts we want to make sure we turn on for our LEMP environment. So first, MySQL. Let's go ahead and uncomment the configuration here. As you can see, um, there are parameters for configuration for MySQL specifically. Um, and each of the provisioning scripts specifically, but this will tell this will be where you will set your database name, user, password, etc. We're going to go ahead and do the same thing for PHP here. Uncomment this provisioning line, and again, if we needed to, we would change our configuration op options here. But for right now, it looks like it's pretty good. And then the last one here, nginx. We're going to uncomment, and we are going to change one of these properties actually. And we're going to set it to just slash vagrant as the document root because we're going to create a, an index.php file just to test out that PHP and Nginx are working properly. So now that we have this all set up, let's go ahead and switch back and let's run our vagrant up. And while vagrant up is running the provisioning, we're going to switch back here and go ahead and create that file that we just talked about. So. We're just going to call it index.php, and inside it, it's going to be very basic. All we're going to do is just call PHP info, because that'll let us know that both Nginx and PHP are working properly. So let's switch back to the provision in here, and let this run for a minute. All right, now that the provisioning is finished, let's go ahead and test it out. As we can see here, it is working. And just to verify that MySQL is also working, we'll go ahead and SSH into the machine. And there we have it. And again, um, we had some basic configuration set up, so we can also check here that the dev user with the password dev also works. And it does. That's all there is to it. Thank you.